Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, host and Click Digest. In this video, I'm gonna quickly unbox the Zoom H1 version 2.0. This is the second iteration of the Zoom H1, and it's one of the most affordable, handy voice recorders that you can get, and comes from the house of Zoom, which is a very renowned name in uh, sound recorders. This is their most affordable model, and comes at only hundred dollars, easily available online. And it comes with a two GB micro SD card included, and there is a a software offer as well. There are two different softwares available: uh, the Cubase LE7 and LE8 for audio processing. Uh, this is how the packaging looks like. It tells you what all it supports. It supports MP3 and WAV formats, uh, and it also tells you approximate time that it can support on 2 GB or 4 GB card. It supports 24 bit, 96 kilohertz uh, linear PCM recording, MP3 recording. Supports USB, so you can use it as USB mic as well. It comes with the stamina battery. So let's quickly find out what is included in the package. This is how the box looks like. And this is a, a plastic case which contains all the documentation as well as the micro SD card, which also comes with an SD card adapter. This is the Zoom H1 itself. Very, very handy. You can see it's very, very compact, fits easily in, uh, in the hand. Can be easily mounted on top of a camera using this screw. Uh, it is very very lightweight and comes with very simple controls. It has two inbuilt microphones uh, which are these on X and Y axis. These are fixed and they are not movable. If you want you can put uh, a foam or uh, the wind cover over here. You can use it as wind filter. It is easily available. It powers using uh, an alkaline uh, rubber A size battery. One of these alkaline batteries has been bundled within the box and uh, you can just pop it into this uh, placeholder where the battery goes in. It's a single AA size battery, fairly easily available. So no uh, troubles if you run out of battery, it's easily available anywhere. This is the micro SD card slot where the micro SD card slot uh, goes in where you can record audio onto this recorder itself. And there are two 3.5 mm ports. Uh, one is a line in which is the input port and other is a line out. Line in is typically used for handheld microphones or lapel mics wherein you can use external microphone rather than using these two input mics and you can record audio using the external microphone onto this device and you have this input level uh, this, uh, toggle so you have this uh, rocker for increasing or decreasing the input volume level so this is very easy for calibration this is for uh, play pause and rewinding the tracks when you are listening to them and this is the hold button which is used uh, to put it on hold while you are using it so if you are recording uh, you may accidentally hit on these buttons so put it on hold mode in which case all these buttons will be deactivated and recording will not stop accidentally and uh, this is the USB uh, connector wherein you can plug in a USB cable and connect it with your desktop in which case it works as a desktop mic line out is used for connecting it to uh, camcorders or cameras which take 3.5 mm input you just need a 3.5 mm audio cable connect one end on this side and other end onto the camera or wherever you want to record the audio this is the line out or also can be used as a monitor this is the volume for the output or the line out which can be adjusted using this toggle and on the back you have the low cut auto level and record format uh, toggles so you can choose between wave mp3 you can choose between uh, auto leveling on and off and you can also use this low cut filter which will uh, cut down some of the audio frequencies to make the audio better and this is the record buttons to start and stop audio recording to power on this you just need to push and hold it here and the lcd comes to power and to start recording you just need to press here and say uh, start recording and uh, First, you need to set up uh, when you are using it for the first time. It is uh, taking me to the month, date, year, etc. setup. I'll do that later and come up with a detailed review later on. This was just a quick unboxing and setup. Uh, this is all we have on this video. If you enjoyed watching it, do press the like button below. If you want to pick up one for yourself, I'm leaving direct link in the description section where you can buy it at the best price. This is one of the most handy and most affordable good quality audio recorders from Zoom, the Zoom H1 version 2 which can be used as a desktop mic as well. Give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and family. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Stay subscribed by pressing the red subscribe button. Thanks for watching.